Welcome to Boise, Idaho, where fans describe a home game in one way. We get them on the blue. And that typically means trouble for anyone who tangles with the Boise State Broncos. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Royals taking on the 21st ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. 48 Sports College football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Broncos will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Royals return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. And here comes this quarterback when he takes the field. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better. But the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Nudges the head for one out to the 16. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Looking for a man. It's Beebe. Lofts one high and deep. Snatches it on the run. And the big game. And they've got it on the 46. The Royals in the hurry up. Well, the defense can't afford to give up too many big plays like that. That was a simple day one go route. A guy just running straight down the field. You need your DBs to get to that football and swat that thing away. You give up too many more of those, you don't got a shot at winning this game. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Carrying the ball with attitude down to the 42. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. From the gun, wants to pass. Got the quick pass. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And the Royals have their offense in high gear. The give to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab over the middle. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. The Royals with the first and 10. And that's a first down. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll run it from the gun. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. But they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air, it's Beebe coming after it. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Royals! Royals. And how about the job by this offense? This is not a scrub defense. This is a top 10 defense in college football. You got to take points whenever you can get them. Nice job putting a drive together, putting six on the board. No matter how it looks, you just got to keep fighting with this squad. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point makes it 7 0. They put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12 yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Boise State Broncos offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. And the Broncos want to move quickly. He wants to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They go to the ground. Quick step and go. He showed it all there. A little looseness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. Wants to throw on first down, off the play fake. Got his man downfield. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. It's first down from the 11. Looking to move it through the air. Picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, the defense was in cover, too, which means they had two safeties playing deep, and they took everything away from the quarterback vertically, forcing him to have to try to check it down. And a great job by the linebacker, jumping the throw and getting the pick. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. Leaves it with the back. Finds some space enough to get five to the 22. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quick release on the RPO. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It'll be a first and ten from the 29. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Snagged in the middle. It's Haynes. Knocked down at the 44, but he got 15 on that one. Leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Offense working from the pistol. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Royals will have it first and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll try to pop the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw. It's Beebe. Fires to the middle. And that ball is picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. So people's eyes. When I say that, DBs, linebackers, all covering the middle of the field. So many guys over the middle of the field trying to take away the easy stuff. But reading the quarterback's eyes the whole time. Whenever he breaks to throw that football and that hand separates from the ball, I'm breaking on it. You can tell they had a beat on it. Nice cut, nice instincts. Give me that INT. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. 
That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Broncos want to pick up the tempo. Really nice job on third down by this offense. This offense has struggled on third downs throughout the season. Not even in the top 50, but you know what? When you make it third and short, you can, when you have the run pass option and you're not predictable, you can be more successful. So let's see if this offense can continue to put themselves in good positions. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete. He's loose on the right. Touchdown, Broncos. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Oklahoma State will need to mount a comeback, but those fans that were there when Justin Blackman was a two-time All-American, they know this game is not over. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Alabama. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. To the air. It's Beebe. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. On first down, here comes this offense. To the ground with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat line. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. The Royals will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough and they stop him at the 31-yard line. He wants to start this drive with a pass. He finds his man. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 32-yard line. And the Broncos headed quickly to the line. He'll pull it on the read. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. The play action fake. Throws to the wideout. Got a wide open receiver. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. The Broncos line it up with a first and goal.
They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Can the defense stop him again on second and goal? Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've moved it right to the precipice of a score, and they need one more yard. Powers forward. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Boise State. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. On the move from inside is five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Opening play of this drive comes from the 13-yard line. They'll start this drive with a pass. Got his man quickly. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal goal. On the move is the 30. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. He locked up and held on to bring him down. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Back to throw. It's Beebe. And the ball is intercepted. Trying to take it back. Touchdown, Broncos! How about that D coming up with a play like that? Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happen for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Let's see what he can do with the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football. You hit him, you try to rank it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get in the fumble. Boise State ready to send out that offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now. In this Touchdown, Broncos! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. That trip to the end zone is 25th career touchdown. Man, he's been productive, just has a nose for the end zone. This dude's made big play after big play for his offenses, and that's 25 touchdowns, Palmer, on the ground for the big thumb. Pretty impressive, too, when you consider when you get close to that end zone, the defense is expecting run, they're loading the box, and still this guy's been able to find his way in. 25, it's a nice number. 
And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. First down for the offense. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield. It's Hall. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Was complete on the screen. Tackle on the play at the 22-yard line. Give to the back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Now on first down from the 30. And that's a first down for the offense. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. He was dreaming of getting a few more on that return, but they'll take it in business at the 32. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. The give from the gun. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Feeling some heat. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. And the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. He's got his man. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Well, they were able to get a field goal, put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. First down here for the offense. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll go to the ground. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. To throw, it's Beebe. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. He is a menace rushing the passer. Career sack number 20. I mean, some people just have a knack for getting to the quarterback. What a great job throughout his career. Getting there, getting him down, getting pressures. He has been a quarterback's worst nightmare. I was just going to say, David, you don't sleep well as a quarterback the night before you have to play against this guy because he is going to sack you. That is a guarantee. Death, taxes, and sacks for that guy. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to scramble. Going to try to get it himself. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manager. Third down conversions are a huge stat. And this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And they couldn't hold it off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. And the Broncos will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Punt. 
And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Surges across the 30, out to the 32, a six-yard run. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. To the air, it's Beebe. Throws to the back. Caught. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. And the Royals want to crank the tempo. First down for the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. On second down, wants to throw it. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Royals will send out the punt unit. Catches it cleanly at the 20. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Boise State ready to send out that offense. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse did love nothing better than to tack another one. And he breaks into the open. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Lost to throw on first down. Buys a little tie. Short gain on the play before he slides. They'll line up for a second down play. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. They're working that left side. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. He wants to throw. Looking for the end zone. Fires the pass. Intercepted. He goes out of bounds, but he creates the turnover and a great opportunity for his offense. We've just seen in this game, the ball has just gotten away from him a little bit. A couple of times, just hasn't been able to put it where he wants to. And as a result, that's now his second pick thrown in this game. Just over 30 seconds to play here in the first half as they take over first and 10. They'll leave it with him. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Clock still running, almost certainly the last play of the half. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Boise to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, Number let's send nine, it back to our guys okay, high above the Smurf turf. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. It's complete to the right. When a defense is in zone coverage, Jesse, they want to react. How do you react to a howitzer coming out like that one? Not much you can do because this guy's got a cannon. You saw all the eyeballs on defense on that play. They were waiting and anticipating that throw, but when you've got an arm like that, it's going to be tough to stop that curl run. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Gets it out fast. 
He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. The Broncos will snap it on first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And the ball slipped out. Oh, and he's able to get the ball back, but he does lose yardage on the play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Running back searching for a hole. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains in their set up at the 41. First and 10 coming up. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wide out. Got a man in the middle. Gets him down at the 26. Big play there. Give him 15 yards on the game, and they move the sticks. They'll try the run. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. Touchdown, Boise State. And the route is on. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out of this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Vanderbilt rolled to victory today in a game where they not only capitalized on opportunities, they created them. And that's the way this coach wants them to play every week. Leaves it with the running back. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Tackled at the 29. Let's give him five on that one. Now on first and 10 from the 29. They'll give it to him again. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the tailback. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They go to the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And the Royals send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fields the punt and tries to work it the other way. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. It's a draw. At the 45 on his way. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Broncos! And the stomping has commenced. Yourself a day, young fella. You know why they hand him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They couldn't draw up a drive better than that one. Just gashed him for the big play in the running game. One snap, one touchdown. The returner will field it and bring it back. And the coverage team able to wrestle it down. Offense set on first down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Quickly complete. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. 
He'll keep it himself. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. This offense has a second down play. Second down. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Caught near the sticks. It's Smallwood. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. And that's good enough for a first down. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Beebe. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. They've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. You got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. We might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. This has been a frustrating day, and I'm not sure it's going to get any better. You're already down huge. Listen, this offense can't protect this quarterback. They don't do anything right right now. This defense has had their number all game long. The Royals will Number call on their punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Going to run it. It's Gaines. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Whoa, does he turn that loose down the middle? Off he goes. Touchdown, Broncos. And the punishment has been extended. Man, football, there is so many weapons now here. Small slots, big wide receivers. And then you got the tight ends now that have the speed to catch the football, chew up ground, and get to the end zone and make those big plays like he did right here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Looking for a productive play on first down. Give to the single back. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Trips left, one wide receiver to the right on second and nine. Off the RPO, complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Dropping back, it's Beebe. Lines his big tight end. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. That's a Wide down. receiver now comes in motion. Comes out throwing on first down. He makes a catch. He found plenty of room and he gets it to the 39 yard line. Gain of 23 on the play. And that's a first down for the offense. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They want to just keep throwing it. And his first pass is incomplete. 
after the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. That's reeled in. It's key. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And that last completion left him short of the sticks. It's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Such great awareness along the sideline and the ability to get that foot down for the catch. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. Splits the uprights from 56, and he's got three on the board. I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Boise State ready to send out that offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep plowing it on until they find an answer. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Broncos decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The offense set for a first down play. Fires to the tight end. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Back to pass, it's Bailey. Got the back over the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Going up top on first down. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He'll pull it down and run. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Royals are moving quickly down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's key. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. They're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Grabs it in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And first down for the offense. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. And that's good enough for first down. He's looking to throw. And to get rid of it quickly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Go straight ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Royals! And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and... You're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Cincinnati is on top. They've played awfully well today. And though that's not Desmond Ritter out there, this group is fighting. They're up by just one over Houston. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to get it through the air. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. The Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Waves the arm for the fair catch and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. And the offense back on the field ready to dial up ball plays. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the quarterback, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second and long from the 21. Dropping back, it's Bailey. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a nice grab at the 25. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They want that clock to run. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. The hand to the running back. At the 35, he's open. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to their running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. Give to the running back. Plows through the defense. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Here's the handoff. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Looking to throw on third. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And a great job by the defense, yeah. dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And he'll try to keep that smooth leg swing going for the second time today. This one from 34 yards out. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. With 
that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. And he's going to bring this one out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First snap of this drive will come from their own 17. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Back to pass. It's Bailey. Unloads to the right. It's caught. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Here comes the offense on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. One more play to pad the stats. To the air on first down. Let's it fly deep downfield. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys have put together a winning streak. They sure have. And man, they're just believing in themselves right now. This is a completely different-looking team than what we saw early in the year. They're playing with so much more confidence. And, David, when you start making plays, you start stringing Ws together, that's obviously what happens. Everybody gets energized. Everybody starts to contribute. Young guys start to grow up. Coaches start to believe in them. Everything starts to turn around and swing the other way. They got it all going in the right direction. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.